Hey y'all, welcome back to Crime Time with Mel. My name is Mel, in case you are new, and holy cow, I'm back again. Being consistent, like I said I would. So if you haven't noticed, I've been uploading on Mondays and Thursdays so far. That could change. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, school is about to start back, so we'll see how that goes with my uploading schedule. I'm trying to film in advance so that I'm not, like, stressed out at the time when that day comes, but my time management sucks, and I'm trying. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I appreciate your support more than y'all know, and if you are new, hi, hello. My name is Mallory. Mal. Um, I cover missing people on this channel. I also do some unsolved and solved cases, but mainly missing people. I upload two times a week, and if that is something you're interested in, I would love to have you subscribe and join this literal amazing community. I know like every YouTuber says, says that, but I'm not joking. Y'all are phenomenal, and I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all are very, very important in my life and I hope y'all know that. Also, I know y'all never care what I look like, but it's hot outside. It is um, literally 100 degrees and people here in Georgia are hot, hot. And my poor husband works outside in the construction. He's in the construction industry and he's working outside right now. So I just want to give a huge shout out to him and our friend Billy who works with him. They're amazing and get some water and don't leave it in your truck, okay? Because no. But after this video, I'm taking my son to the pool, so I'm not I'm I'm not gonna get all dolled up just to go to the pool in an hour. You know what I mean? So I hope you'll understand. So today we're gonna talk about the missing person of Morgan Nick. Have you heard of her? She went missing in 1995. She was six years old Ugh. and it is believed that she was abducted from a baseball field. So if y'all would love to spread awareness for Morgan, it will take two seconds to give this video a thumbs up and share wherever you can. Um, this was in Arkansas, so share with all your Arkansas people and get the word out. It's a pretty old case, so I'm sure a lot of people have heard about this, but I still want to spread awareness for it. So let's get started. <laughs> So Morgan Chantel Nick was born September 12th, 1988, so 32, almost 33 years old she would have been today. And at just six years old, this sweet little girl had huge dreams to be in the circus. She also wanted to be a doctor. So she didn't, she just knew that she wanted to help people. She wanted to make people laugh and she wanted to help people. And this reminds me of like a girl version of Patch Adams. Have y'all seen that movie? It's based on a true story, but Robin Williams played it. Such a great movie, but I cry every single time I see it. That's what that reminds me of. She was a very fun, loving, sweet, bubbly little girl who was born in Ozark, Arkansas, a very small town. And on June 9th, 1995, started out like any other normal day. Colleen Morgan's mom said that they all woke up, they had breakfast, the kids played, they ate grilled cheese for dinner, and then her friend called and asked if her and Morgan wanted to go to her kids' baseball games and watch it in Alma, which is about 30 minutes away, another pretty small town in Arkansas. I'm sorry, 30 miles away. They all get to the field and Morgan is literally yards away playing with all the kids there, her friends. and. I mean, I go to the ball game. I'm sure y'all have gone, some of y'all out there have gone to the ball game and this is not an uncommon thing that the kids are playing while some of their other siblings are playing baseball. So Morgan's two friends were Jessica and Ty, eight and 10 years old. And it was Ty's sister's baseball game. They said that they remember playing on the hill with Morgan, playing in the dirt, catching fireflies, just being kids. 
And Colleen was actually kind of hesitant because it was getting pretty late outside and she just wanted to see Morgan a little bit better. But her friend assured her that everything was fine. Kids do this all the time here and everything was gonna be okay. And Colleen said there was kids everywhere. So she just kind of was like, okay. And just tried to relax and let Morgan have fun. And around 10.45 p.m., Jessica, Morgan, and Ty all had sand in their shoes. So they went over to the car to dump the sand out. Jessica and Ty stayed up at the front of the car while Morgan was at the back of the car. And Jessica says that she does remember seeing a guy sitting at his truck, talk to him briefly for a little bit, but she said it was so long ago she does not remember like what it was about. At this point, Colleen looks over to check on Morgan. She doesn't see Morgan, but she sees Ty and Jessica. So she walks over to them and says, where's Morgan? They said she's at the end of the car getting sand out of her shoes. When she looked over, she saw the car, but she did not see Morgan. Oh my God, it makes my heart and my stomach just drop just thinking like, Within minutes, law enforcement arrives. Colleen said that they got there pretty, pretty fast, so that is amazing. Um, and she was pretty hopeful that they would find Morgan. Days had gone by and Colleen and her husband decided it was time to break the news to Morgan's younger siblings. And three years old and 22 months, so they're so young, like the three-year-old could probably comprehend a little more what was going on than the 22 month old, but still they're so young, like. And in 1996, Colleen started the Morgan Nick Fund, which helps parents cope with the disappearance of their children. And I'm so happy that there are organizations like this out there. And it also helps prevent children from going missing. Y'all, if you have a chance, please go to that website. I will hopefully try to remember to link it down below. If I forget, please let me know in the comments. And in Arkansas, the Amber Alert there is actually called the Morgan Nick Amber Alert. And in August 2012, strangely enough, this guy and woman, Tanya and James, were arrested on a felony for trying to use Morgan Nick's identity. So there is a sketch out of this guy that was sitting by the truck that talked to the kids and I will leave it up here somewhere. And the age is approximately 23 to 38 at the time of her disappearance, so in 1995. And also a red truck. If you know anybody that of that description that was in that area with a red truck, please, please, please call 1-800-THE-LOST. Or you can call the Alma Police Department at 4796 three two three 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 or you can call arkansas state police department at four seven nine seven eight three five one nine five now this red truck a little more about it it is a red truck and it had a camper on the back of it and it is said that this camper on the back of the truck bed did not properly fit the truck and it was about four to five inches too short from the actual truck bed. It had a short wheelbase and it was very dull old paint, possibly with an Arkansas license plate, described as a white male, about six feet tall, medium solid build dude, about 180 pounds with a salt and pepper hair at the time. He also had a mustache and a beard. So if this, describes anybody that you know um or if it rings any bells please 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 call side note have y'all seen that movie oh my gosh i cannot remember what it is and i don't even have my phone on me my son has my phone but it's something about an ocean deep in the ocean something like that michelle pfeiffer is in it it's like an old 90s movie but that movie i was obsessed with it when it first came out and I think that's what started my love for The Missing. Um, if you don't know that movie, y'all really, really should go watch it. It's a great movie and it's about a little boy that goes missing and it was, I'm not gonna give you too much, but it's about a little boy that goes missing. He gets kidnapped from his family. So that's where my love for The Missing people came from. And please, 
please give this video a thumbs up, not only to help support my channel, but to help spread awareness for Morgan Nick, get the word out there. Somebody has to know something. Somebody has had to have seen something. There is an aged progressed photo I will leave right here so that y'all could check it out. Um, y'all, she could be out there. She could be out there. Regardless, this family deserves and needs answers. So please share this video also wherever you can on your social media. And I will see y'all in Monday's video. I was about to say Thursday. Thank you so very much for watching. I, I love y'all. And I will have a couple of solved and unsolved as well as missing videos coming up soon. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. Is that it? Follow me on Instagram. Yep, follow me on Instagram. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So I love y'all so much and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.